put that GoPro so far over and the floor is hard to get to. Well, it finally stopped raining. It's been raining for two days. The sun came out, starting to dry things out. I've got a ton of leaves in the driveway. So I'm setting up a wooden stool again. I do have the bottom of the front bench seat sitting right there in the floor on a blanket. I'm trying to work on it a little bit. What I've done is I've, I've got the car over pretty far in the garage to one side, so I've got plenty of room to work on my seat over there so I don't bang into it with something. But I want to try to get the front seat at least the bottom done so I can bolt it in here and then have something to sit on besides a stool. So, you know, I get the front seat in and I can start driving it around my housing addition a little bit and start working out some of the bugs and stuff. dust on it. So I've been wanting to get it out in the sun. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of dust on it actually. <laughs> Golly. This is pretty much what it looks like in the sun. Still got handprints and stuff all over it from messing with it. Man, look at the dust on that thing. Golly. <laughs> I cleaned this thing up real good and put some carnauba wax on it. Missed a spot right there. I put carnauba wax on it. I missed some down there too. It's dark in my garage, man. I can barely see. I think I did that last Friday or Thursday and this is Tuesday so it's set all this time and gotten that dusty you know I got the rear splash aprons in they're bolted in and done I got quite a bit of little things done actually on it so it's pretty cool this is something I get asked about quite a bit is what am I going to do in the rain if I get caught in the rain because that people are afraid that uh Rain water is going to go right in the grill and go right in the throat of my engine, and I guess hydrolock my engine or something. I don't know. They're, they're, it's not going to get that much water, guys. But just in case, this is a KN mesh cover that is designed to keep water and fine silt and all that kind of crap out. In the dirt bike world, back when I had dirt bikes, this was called a filter skin. KN doesn't call it that, but this is a little elastic slip on little cover that fits exactly that part number k and n but i will have that under the seat in case i get caught in a monsoon or decide to take it underwater and you know drive it to the other side of the world underwater or something i've actually been asked that probably i don't know five times six times what am i going to do if it rains and it's funny because even though it's going to be pulling air out here it's not like that pulls a ton of air it, it's not going to be like a straw and sucking it in there that water has to get all in that tube and then go up uh, no doubt it's going to get wet a little bit, but my square body is the same way. It has its factory cold air pipe coming over here to the side of the core support, and there's a round hole in the core support right there. So it's the same thing. But anyway, that's what it looks like outside. I'm loving it, man. It looks pretty good. So I got a quite a bit more little tedious stuff to do to the car but hopefully I'll get it done here pretty soon but 
I need to wipe the carnauba wax off here. And it looks good, I tell you. That looks really, really nice. I've got an old, uh, oh, one of them, what do they call them? California dusters. And I got it out, I think Saturday or Sunday. And I tried to wipe the car down, but it, it's been in my cabinet for probably 15 years. Maybe longer than that, I don't even know. It doesn't have that paraffin wax or whatever they've got on that. It doesn't, I guess, don't have it on there anymore. So it won't pick up nothing. It just spreads it around. So I need to get a new one. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's good sitting out there. Looks like it's leaning to one side, but the, the driveway kind of drops down a little bit on that side and one side's all got a big crack in it. So I'm sure it's something to do with the driveway. <clears throat> Man. That thing's looking good, I'm telling you. I guess I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm not looking forward to it. But I'm getting ready to get started on this front bench seat bottom. I'm gonna be doing this myself. And uh, I need to blow this garage out first, but. So I've got the cover out here and I've got some of my half inch sew foam out here that I'm gonna put over the top of it. So I've already got a good start on a lot of the upholstery on the car, but this is a pre-molded foam kit that I bought. These are way overpriced in my opinion. These pre-molded foam kits for these Tri-5s is 200 and when I bought this it was $259 for the front seat, $259 for the rear seat. I only bought the front. I've got big rolls of foam. I'm going to cut it out for the rear myself. But what I don't like about these front bitch seat foams is how choppy they are. This is hard on all these edges. Like this is bowed out and it's all hard. This is going to show through. So I'm going to go through here and grind all this and roll these edges. Get all this crap off of here. I mean, look down that. See that ripply hard edge? This all needs to be sanded off. But after I get this glued down to the spring assembly, I'm going to wrap half inch sew foam around it all and then put the cover on it. This is a seat cover set that I got from Ciadella Interiors and they have all the patterns to the original cars and I called them and told them exactly what I wanted which this is the original pattern cloth material from my car reproduction of it but instead of having the coral colored vinyl I went with black Alante. Now Alante is a line that's the name of the line uh, this is a leather simulant this is vinyl but it has the look and feel of leather. It is super soft and it's not super shiny. I don't like shiny vinyls. Uh, but anyway, this stuff stretches real easy, especially for a, a novice seat guy like myself. This is gonna help me out quite a bit. I've had a few cars done with Alante, but they have many colors to choose from. But anyway, that's pretty much, I, I had her stitch the the, the seat covers just like factory, just change the material one color. Uh, the seat backs themselves have the factory 55 Bel Air little seam that goes down on this side and then back up for the other side. So it'll look just like a factory Bel Air 55 interior. It just went with black Alante instead of coral vinyl. Because my car was originally coral and gray, uh, so I kept the gray. Which to me, this looks green. Uh, this looks more green. It's like a dark gray with a green cast to it. But I don't mind because the car's black. It's kind of a different than normal type of thing. But anyway, the, the seat springs, I had already blasted them. I just kind of blasted them a little bit with my portable blaster, if that makes any sense. I didn't go through and completely blast them to super clean metal because I ended up using POR 15 and a spray gun and spraying the frames. Um, you know, POR 15 here is designed to brush over rust and it keeps it from growing. But anyway i've already stretched all the springs out real good to where i can put a bubble level across there and it's all even um, and i've put on carpet this is what some of the upholsterers do nowadays instead of using burlap they'll use carpet this is like some automotive carpet i've got a bunch of this stuff different colors and rolls so i just hog ringed it on and then i've got the pre-molded foam that goes on top of that and then i'm going to cover it again with half inch sew foam I can pretty much squeeze that but together, but this will kind of help make the seat look a little bit more puffy and not look loose. I don't want the cover looking loose on the on the seat parts. So, 
that's where I'm at. I guess I'll work on that thing tonight. probably can't see it in the camera but when this rolls over like this and curves around it kicks back out like it's a, a front spoiler or air dam on a car so it's not gonna fly man Well, that's why I ground that down. It uh, had really bad high poking up areas on the corner. I just basically tried to smooth it and roll it off a little bit. This could actually, still has a hump right here. Probably need to hit that again. But anyway, I had a bad kick up line all the way down, so I rolled that off. But now it doesn't have stuff that kind of flares out at the bottom to cause a issue with something poking through the cover or something. I didn't read that anywhere that you're supposed to do that. I'm just doing it by what I think, and I'm not a professional upholsterer, but anyway, I, I got that pretty much off of there. <clears throat> but anyway, the cover here has to go on, but I'm gonna put half inch cell foam on it first. So I'm gonna cut this foam to where it pretty much goes over right to the back off the back of this so I'm going to cut it straight across there so it'll further give it padding but 
This back here from the factory, I'll have to go back and look at my pictures on my phone. When I disassembled this, I took a lot of pictures, but hopefully they're still in my phone anyway. But it seems like there was some thin batting layered on this panels back here. So I could probably do these in quarter inch foam. I just don't know yet. But when you go to put the cover on, I can show you right here. Again, keep in mind, I'm not a professional upholsterer. This cover will go on here, kind of like this. Try to slip that on there. It goes on, you know, like that. So there's a listing right here. I think that's what these are called as listings and metal wire goes in here and that's what you hog ring. This down here will have to be hog ringed to these springs right through here one there one there and you know they go across so i'll have to hog ring that to that so i can tell you right now if i hog ring that to that see how loose this this looks this will be kind of loosely uh, put on there and, and i know i feel like it's not going to fit puffy like i want like i'd rather have the seats look pregnant than be loose and you know not fit right so that's where the half inch cell foam comes into play in my opinion but Anyway, this cell phone, I can literally squeeze that without much effort, completely almost together. So uh, this is basically just a, a filler as all it'll be, but even if I put just a little bit on there, it, it should do exactly what I need it to do.